In this video, you will see my full process of sketching and painting, watercolor painting, this magical aerial view of the old town of Florence. As you see, I start from scratch, first with identifying and placing the horizon line, then quickly suggesting the gesture of the river Arno. This river goes almost through the center of Florence and, in this way, it defines the two sides of the city. The focus of this painting is Ponte Vecchio, this beautiful old bridge, one of the many symbols of Florence. Florence has many bridges, but this one is very special and I will tell you why in a couple of minutes. As this is such a complex scene with many old buildings, all oriented slightly different, organically arranged across the multitude of narrow streets that do not follow today's so common orthogonal grid, it's quite hard to talk about perspective and about vanishing points. So, to be able to sketch this scene, I mainly use the help of proportions and also pay close attention to the change of angles in the composition. I start by sketching the focal element, the Ponte Vecchio, and continue with sketching the surroundings relative to this first placed element. I try to always look and compare, and this process takes quite a lot of time of observing, of analyzing. You mainly focus on one portion of the scene at a time, while also thinking about how this area relates to the big picture. This way of sketching is very personal, because every person has its own way of seeing, of observing and prioritizing the elements in the scene. So, in my way of sketching, I like to start with a simple pencil sketch, with defining the big masses. As you saw, first the horizon line, so the sky and the land, and then the two sides of the city separated by the river. Then, I continue with placing a few key elements, the focal point, the bridge, and a few other buildings that are quite easy to define, that have clear shapes in my way of seeing. When having these key elements in place, I feel comfortable enough to switch to pen and ink. In this way to build up more details on top of these elements and also to fill the spaces between them with new elements. By elements, of course I mean buildings, trees, streets and so on. So, I mentioned earlier that Ponte Vecchio is a very special bridge. Why is that? Well, because of many motives. One of it is that being the first bridge ever built in Florence over the river Arno, it has witnessed so many historical events. But you might say, many old bridges have this characteristic. Well, this old bridge also has a mysterious passage. It holds a secret passageway, special built for the Medici family to move around the city without being seen by the other citizens of Florence. If you look closely at the sketch, you can spot a few small windows at the second level of the bridge, just under the roof. That's where the corridor is. Unfortunately, when we were visiting Florence two years ago, the corridor wasn't available for public visiting. We found out about this corridor from a local guide during a free walking tour and was so surprised that the secret passageway was just in front of us. It has been so well integrated in the surroundings. If you are curious to find out more about this corridor, look for the Vasari Corridor on YouTube. Florence is truly a fascinating city with so many layers of hidden history, so many stories to discover. Let me know in a comment below if you knew about this corridor and how did you discover it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this video. And if you are curious to know exactly what art supplies I'm using, you can find them in the description below.
So now that we have a nice and good looking sketch in place, we can continue with watercolor painting and with adding more personality to it. I want this painting to be in the urban sketching style, so I will be doing quick and light watercolor washes to better emphasize the texture and the personality of this magical city. For this particular painting, my process is to take each group of elements at a time. By this I mean the sky and atmosphere, the trees, the roofs, the buildings, the streets, the water, and so on, each of them at a time. This is a quick way of painting and of recording the moment. And most of the times in urban sketching you have to move quite fast because things are continuously changing. If you'll try sketching this yourself and post on your social media, don't forget to tag Color Art Emotion if your inspiration came from one of my videos. I'm very curious to see your interpretations. Like this video if you're enjoying it and want to see more sketching and painting videos similar to this one. So let me know in a comment below if you're enjoying this video, if you have further questions or suggestions.